friends. Welcome to the California Academy of Sciences. My name is Scarlett Macaw, and I live in tropical rainforests like the one behind me. Today, I'll be your guide as we tour this special rainforest habitat. There's a lot to discover and many friends to meet. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Ah, it's good to be home. This exhibit is an example of a tropical rainforest. Rainforests are filled with all kinds of life, like insects, birds, fish, frogs, reptiles, and plants to name a few. Rainforests have a lot of trees and of course, rain. Tropical rainforests are found around the world near the equator, where the earth is hottest year round. And it is hot and humid. I love it. Did you know there are many layers of the rainforest, each full of life? There is a forest floor, understory, canopy, emergent, and even a seasonally flooded area. Let's explore each layer together. The first layer is the forest floor. This is where all the trees first begin to grow. Many of the animals found here are decomposers. They help make sure anything rotting gets cleaned up. Some animals help make sure plants don't grow too much, like my friends, the leaf cutter ants. We are the ants and we march, march, march. Oh, hi, ant. What do you do in the rainforest? Hi, Macaw. Leaf cutter ants cut leaves. We cut pieces of leaves to bring back to our colony underground. Then we chew up the leaves and use them to grow a fungus which we eat. Wow, so you're farming ants. Exactly. Every ant in the colony has a job, like cutting and bringing back leaves, tending the fungus, or keeping watch for danger. Ant colonies can have hundreds of thousands of ants living and working together. We are a very busy bunch. Well, thanks, Ant. We'll let you get back to work. That leaf looks heavy. Oh, I got this. See you later. We are the ants and we march, march, march. There's so much happening on the forest floor. In many tropical rainforests like the Amazon, some areas are flooded or filled with water. When rain increases and the waters rise. This exhibit is also home to some underwater animals. Let's take a look. Wow, look at all the life. When rainforest flooding happens, nutrients from the river soil are brought to the rainforest along with much aquatic life. Animals like catfish, arapaimas, kaku, Amazon river turtles, electric eels, and anacondas call this home. Whoa, it's red-tailed boa. Oh well, what are you up to? I'm just getting a drink of water. Now I'm slithering back up a tree. See ya. I'll see you later. Wow. Rainforest snakes can live in water and trees? Ugh, I'm learning so much. Let's head up to the next layer. This layer is called the understory. Since not a lot of light reaches this layer, plants tend to have large leaves so they can absorb as much sunlight as they can. The understory is teeming with life, like amphibians and insects. Can you see any animals? Oh, hello, Toad. I didn't see you there. You camouflage well. Hello, Macaw. What brings you down here? We're learning about the rainforest. How are amphibians important to the rainforest? Well, I'm a Sungae Toan Toad, and I'm really good at camouflaging, but blending into my environment this helps me catch my prey, insects. Not all amphibians want to stay hidden. Some want to be noticed. 
like those poison dart frogs, always hopping about. Wow, so many bright colors. Why do they want to stand out? Well, there's a lot of ways to communicate without speaking. And those frogs use bright colors to warn, I'm poisonous! If you eat me, you'll get really sick! Well, that's important information. Thanks, Toad. We'll let you get back to, uh, wait, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just waiting for some food. Well, I hope you find something tasty. To the next level! Here is the rainforest canopy, my favorite lair. This is where the macaws live. Look, there are some blue and gold macaws. Hello there! Macaws are well adapted to rainforest living. Our short wings make it easier for us to steer between branches in our search for food. With a powerful hooked beak, breaking open tough-shelled seeds to eat is no problem. Scarlet macaws, like me, can even eat fruits that are toxic to other animals. And some of us can live up to 80 years! Whew! I've still got a long way to go. Well, of course I wouldn't forget all of you! Macaws aren't the only birds up in the canopy. In this exhibit, you can see and hear paradise tanagers, purple honey creepers, and yellow rumped caciques, to name a few. Can you spot any as we fly even higher in the rainforest? At the top of the rainforest is the emergent layer. As trees break through the dense canopy and into the sun, they can reach towering heights over 150 feet. Some other winged animals call this part of the rainforest home. And you guess who? Butterflies! There are 150 different species of rainforest butterflies known worldwide. And now I'm just one of them. Oh, it's my friend! Swallowtail Butterfly, how are you? Oh, I I'm just sending my wings and uh, uh, looking for a nice flower to land on. Oh, well, can you tell us why butterflies are important to the rainforest? Oh, certainly. Butterflies are important because we're pollinators. Uh, when drinking nectar from flowers, we transfer pollen from plant to plant, helping them reproduce. There wouldn't be so many different types of plants without us. At the academy, you can often see butterflies emerge from their chrysalis. Butterflies all start as an egg, hatch into a caterpillar, form a chrysalis, and change into a butterfly through metamorphosis. I emerged just last week. Look at my new wings. Wow, amazing wings and so many new pollinators. Thanks, butterfly. See you around. Of course. I butterfly with my new friends. <laughs> Fly to bye. Wow, we learned so much and we didn't even see everything. Rainforests are so important, not only for the life that calls it home, but also for people around the world. Evaporated water from rainforests falls as rain nearby, watering plants and filling rivers. Rainforest plants also make oxygen that animals need around the world to survive. What a special place. Thank you for joining me for this tour of the rainforest. Hope to see you at the Academy soon. <laughs>